Right, hello, this is the third part of the Geoptic um, filter series that, uh, videos that I'm doing. And in this episode, we're going to really just look at the back focus that you need in order to uh, make the uh, stars sharp. Now what I've got on here is I've got my attic camera and my 460 and I've got my Canon lens. Now the Canon um, camera needs a 45mm back focus. Now what we need to do then is take that 45mm and we minus the geoptic distance which is 19mm and then what we do is we subtract the attic uh, back focus which is 13mm. Now that if you take 45 minus 13 minus 19 gives us 13 mil left. So but what you really need to do is come a little bit shorter than that in order to give yourself um, the space to focus. So what I've got in between here, which you can hopefully see, is a 10 mil um, T-thread extension tube, a short one, 10 mil. So that gives me three mil left in which to focus uh, and that is fine. So that's what you need. So obviously you have to go back and check. Go from the kind of 45 um, from, from, the, from the camera body, a normal camera body, uh, minus the 19 for the geoptics uh, filter, and then find out what your uh, CCD camera back focus is. It can vary, um, but this Attic 460 is 13 mil. So that's why we've put the 10 mil in here. Now something else I just wanted to show you um, that I did when I took my images uh, was that on the front of the lens I had a, um, a UV uh, filter on the front here and basically I was worried about it um, causing some sort of reflections inside the lens so I basically took it off um, when I use it. But what I did manage to find myself quite nice, which is quite cheap on eBay, um, was one of these kind of um, floppy um, camera hoods. Um, just to keep the dew off a little bit more. Although what I did find is it will dew up, and the lens will dew up on a cold night. And so what I sometimes do is, or usually do, is I wrap a dew, dew, uh, dew band around it, a dew, dew strap around it, and, and have it on a low heat in order to, um, to keep the dew off of it while I'm taking my images. Um, now the next thing I wanted to just show you are some of the images actually that I've actually taken with this um, setup. I've taken about three or four so far. Um, so I just want to run through those now. Now the first one I did was the Heart and Soul Nebula. I was very happy with this one. This one I set the lens to 100mm and I set the camera to f6. Now remember this is a 75 to 300mm lens um, and it's not, it's a quite a cheap lens, it's not brilliant, I mean it, it's not, it's a 4, f4 to f5.6. Um, so anyway I took the Heart and Soul Nebula 100mm um, f6 because that was quite a big um, quite a big thing to shoot and on this image I did 10 um, exposures of 600 seconds so 10 minutes um, 10 minute exposures on this one which I think it, it really did uh, need and they came out quite quite well uh, moving on to my second image that I took this time um, also again I think it was probably the same night actually because um, these were all obviously in mono. I just did this with hydrogen and alpha. All these are with hydrogen alpha filters. Um, I didn't, haven't done any RGB yet or luminance shots. Um, these were hydrogen alpha. And this was the Horsehead Nebula and the Orion Nebula, which just about fitted on, on 100 millimeters. Again, this was F6. Um, unbinned, this was 15 exposures at 300 seconds. So five minutes each, 15 exposures. And this was quite nice. Um, uh, took a little bit of uh, processing because obviously the Ryan Nebula is always bright however you take it but I think it came out quite well and it shows the distance you can also see the horse head and it's quite nice in black and white. Now the third one that I did was the Flaming Star Nebula or IC405 that was taken at 200 millimeters so we zoomed in on this one this is the first time I'd ever gone to 200 millimeters um, but Unfortunately, because it was 200 millimeters, it had, instead of using F6 previously, this had to be F7, um, and this was binned two by two, and I did 20 exposures uh, on this one um, of 300 seconds. Uh, again, hydrogen alpha. Um, yeah, the problem is I've, I'm finding now that 200 millimeters on this on these cheap lenses is that you have to go down, you have to stop it down a couple of stops in order to get nice round stars, and at F7 it's it's a little bit slow. 
Um, so I'm really sort of looking now at possibly going for some of those more expensive um, f2.8 kind of lenses, either fixed prime 200mm one or the beige um, sort of pro series, which is uh, I think that's 70 to 200mm, um, which are a lot more money. Um, but I think this lens has done quite well for these images anyway. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.